Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to WSL in Visual Studio Code. So I've got steps here that we can follow. So first step is you need to install WSL and a Linux distribution. So when you open PowerShell as an administrator and run this command here, Ubuntu will automatically be, automatically, uh, be installed and you might need to, or actually you need to restart your computer if wanted. And after it's uh, reloaded, you have to set up your username and password. That's gonna, I mean, that's the prompt that you will see, should see. And step two is install Visual Studio Code. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to install it, uh, but it's, you know, it's easy to install. So you just have to download it from the official website and install it. And step three is install the, actually it's now called WSL, not remote uh, WSL. So in step three, uh, you install the WSL extension inside um, Visual Studio Code. So to do that, you have to open, of course you have to open WSL and you click this icon here and then you just search for that. I mean, you search for the WSL. So in my case, it is already installed, so I don't have to install it, but this is the extension that you need to install. And step four is you open a WSL terminal in Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Um, so to do that, you have to open your Linux distribution terminal. Uh, so you have to navigate to the folder you want to work in. So in my case, I actually created this already, the new folder, but I'm showing you the command here. So make dir new folder. So let me here, I'm already here. So I just entered, you know, this command here, and then I cd into that command, I mean into that folder. And then I created the folder or the, the file, which is called hello.py. Let me also show you the file. Yeah, the file is there, hello.py. Now I can actually open a new instance of, and this is something that you can do, new, insta new instance of uh, Visual Studio Code, aside from this one here. Um, so, let me go back to my, yeah. So to do that, you just have to uh, be in the, like it says here, in, in the be in the folder that you want to work in. So in my case, I'm already in that folder or directory. As you can see here, and you have to type code dot space dot, and then enter. That will reopen a new instance of, um, Visual Studio Code. And to connect to WSL, press F1 to open the command palette. Uh, so F1, and then um, select or type WSL, connect to WSL and select it. So F1, it's already here, so I select it. And now it says in the uh, bottom left corner, you see uh, that it's, it is running in Ubuntu now. Yeah, I didn't have to choose a Linux distribution. Um, so I can just, uh, not include that. So by default, like I said, um, Ubuntu is installed. Yeah. So now you see, you, we should see the WSL indicator in the bottom left corner of Visual Studio Code, as you can see here. So running in Ubuntu WSL2. And now we can use Visual Studio Code as normally, but you know, with the power of WSL. So if I, let me just make this hello. .py. So if I hover over the, should have a folder here. Oh, okay. So looks like, it's gone. Okay, so um, actually to, oops, control J. 
So let me go to let me go to that uh, folder. So CD, let me just type it. Okay, and then um, LS. Let me do it again for the sake of, or actually I can just, you know, because what happened was um, it didn't go into the explorer automatically. So let me try it again. Okay, now, so what I did was, as you can, as you saw, I just opened another instance of Visual Studio Code, and now I see that the file or the uh, project is actually, or the folder is actually in the Explorer um, window now. And I can see that, you know, the file hello.py is, I mean, is, here as well and we can see that the path is now you know not a path that we see in windows okay and yeah so if you want to close your wsl connection you just have to go to file close remote connection uh, so file close remote connection and that will redirect you into the running visual you know uh, visually studio code locally so we don't see that you know it's connected to wsl so yeah that's all i want to discuss in this video hopefully you found it uh, useful if you have don't forget to hit like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now